So we were discussing is matter around us pure? In that we had discussed about the topic called solution. I have told you earlier this topic is there in class 12 as well and while discussing the topic we had discussed about various terms like solute, solvent etc. We have talked about various type of solutions saturated unsaturated one. Today we will discuss about how to express a solution. How to express the concentration of a solution. So here the topic is concentration of a solution. Why it is required? If we take one glass full of water, suppose we take two glasses and in one case I have added three spoons of sugar and I mix it thoroughly. In another case I have added only one spoon of sugar and I have mixed that one also. Now after mixing glass 1 and glass 2, if I check the test whether it will be same, what do you think? Definitely not. So if the taste is not same, that simply means the density or whatever you may call it, the properties of those two solutions will also not be same. And that is what we are discussing in this particular topic called the concentration of a solution. That means for both those solutions which we have prepared, the sugar solutions, they will have different concentrations. But it has to be expressed mathematically. That is what we are going to discuss under this segment. So how it will be measured? That is the main question. How it will be done? We know in chemistry, most of the reactions are carried out in solutions, right? So in order to perform the calculations, it is necessary to know how much is the concentration. Because you have to calculate at the end of the day. So, it will be expressed as the quantity you also do write it down the quantity of solute dissolved in a given mass of solvent and here I have written mass Better I should write mass or volume of solvent. So the quantity of a solute dissolved in a given mass or volume of a solvent. Now given mass, that is very important, given mass, that means we take a particular amount of ma mass of the solvent or the volume of the solvent. So there are two types, let me clarify those, it is of two types. Actually, there are many types, but at, at this level, class 9, we are only going to discuss about two types. One is mass by mass percentage and the second one is mass by volume percentage. So we are going to discuss about, this is called mass by mass and this is mass by volume. So these two we are going to discuss it. So mathematically this mass by mass, let us start with mass by mass only. The mass by mass percentage we will, we will write like this. Mass by mass percentage can be mathematically expressed as mass percent of a solute mass percent of a solute in solution so we, we will write it down like mass percent of a solute in solution as mass of solute divided by mass of solution into 100%. Two things. Whenever we are discussing mass of solute and here we are discussing mass of solution. So obviously mass of 
solute if it is x mass of solvent if it is y so obviously mass of solution should be x plus y so mass by mass percentage can be expressed as x divided by x plus y into 100% i hope it is it can be easily understood let us solve one or two numericals related to that also let us write down the question the question is you can get this type of question in the exam also so very carefully you see the problem goes like this a solution is prepared by dissolving fifteen gram of sodium chloride in one thirty five gram of water. What is the what is the mass by mass percent mass by mass percent of sodium chloride in this solution so let us solve this this is a numerical you can get in that time of exam also let us solve it so here you see mass of solvent sorry first let us calculate for solute that is nacl that is 15 g next is mass of water or rather i should write solvent first then water that is 135 g so what should be the mass of solution which solution in acl solution it should be 15 plus 135 g which is 150 g so we know according to the formula mass by mass percentage will be mass of solute divided by mass of solution into 100% so mass of solute means mass of nacl divided by mass of nacl solution into Hundred percent mass of NaCl. It is obviously fifteen gram divided by mass of NaCl solution. Check how much it is. One fifty gram into hundred percent. So obviously it is one by ten into hundred. So it gives rise to ten percent. So this is the answer. Mass by mass percentage will be ten percent. So that is how we will solve. next one is mass by volume percentage so similar just in place of mass of solution we should be writing over here it is 
the volume of the solution. So the definition will be like, you also write it down. Mathematically we should write mass by volume percentage in a solution should be mass of solute divided by volume of solutions volume of solution rather into 100%. So it depends on which unit you are taking over here. If you take gram here and if you take milliliter over here, you can express it in gram per ml. If you take this one gram and if you take this one in liter, you can express it in gram per liter. You can take it as kg per liter also. It depends on the best possible way out to take the units. So these are the units. Let us solve one numerical related to this to clear out the problems. The problem is problem number two for today. Eleven gram of sugar is dissolved in water to make up a volume of volume of 55 milliliter what is the concentration of sugar solution in terms of mass by volume percentage that is the question so 11 gram of sugar is dissolved in water to make up a volume of 55 ml make up a volume this is very important line make up a volume of 55 ml so if the if we are making up the volume that means the volume of the solution is already given so we should be able to write first we should write down the formula which is mass by volume percentage is equal to mass of solute divided by volume of solution into 100% so mass of solute is how much? It is 11 divided by 55. Here it is gram, here it is ml, understandable, into 100%. So it should be like it is 5. So it should be 20%. Obviously, it is a 20% solution. We are taking gram per milliliter. Now, you what you have to do is you take various type of such problems and you should solve it from your book by yourself to understand what is actually mass by mass percentage and mass by volume percentage. This is not everything about the concentration. Remember, there are other type of expression also to mathematically express the concentration of a solution. But these are the two very basics that we need to know. Whatever we have discussed, if there is any problem, 
you comment on the comment on the comment section so that i can reply on it and the important thing is you should solve similar problems from your book also